This is a summary based off the notes that I've taken on Andrew Huberman's Huberman Lab podcast about flexibility and stretching. So to get into the information, aim to stretch for at least five minutes a day for five days a week. Warm up and raise your core body temperature before stretching with light movements or light cardio. Something like light calisthenics and jumping jacks are great. When static stretching, don't push or force yourself into the stretch. Rather, feel and relax into the stretch. Similar to a mind-muscle connection that you might do when training for hypertrophy with the weights. What this means is that when you're static stretching, once you get into the end of the stretch, where you start to feel the sensation of muscles being stretched, instead of pushing through the pain to essentially stretch more, you just want to relax and feel the stretch. So don't just be doing the motion, feel the stretch. Low intensity stretching, or what is referred to as micro stretching, is more beneficial than high intensity stretching. Meaning stretching 30 to 40% of your pain threshold, so when the stretch starts to feel painful, is more effective than stretching 80% of that pain threshold. There is no right or wrong answer for if you should stretch before or after a training session. However, dynamic and ballistic stretching is a good way to warm up your body before a training session. It is also good to note that if flexibility is not trained, you will lose flexibility over time. And stretching induces relaxation for the entire body, not just the body part that is being stretched. And that is all of the notes I've taken, and I hope this was helpful.